Okay, so today we're going to look at using Insul 8.0 to model various STCs of walls and floors. This will be an entry level video and we'll follow up some intermediate and advanced level uh, tutorials. To begin, start up Insul. To do this, you can download a free version or you can get a fob key which will allow you to get the latest updates. It's right now up to Intel 9.0 as of the time of this video. When you log in, you'll see there's various types of assemblies. Uh, you can model a wall, ceiling, or floor. Within the wall section, which is where we'll start, you can model with various frames and layers on each frame. So to begin, a very common household wall would be a wood stud wall two by four inches with an air gap of three and a half between the drywall elements stud spacing oftentimes it's 16 and fiberglass batting filling up the entire cavity and you can take that out if you'd like um, if in this case uh, it's an interior partition oftentimes that's not there to use a common household gypsum you you click on layer one and within here you'll find all the various materials that insole has integrated over years uh, essentially the manufacturers send the test data to insole and they integrate it into their algorithm to determine exactly how well this should score with other types of framing and elements so use a standard 5 8 inch type x i've imported this into my standard user list uh, it'll be a lining of one, just one deep. If you wanted to, you could click up or down here. Um, the 5 8 inch is imported. Um, for layer two, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, nothing else here, no linings interior, but you could put a different type of OSB or plywood there. Um, so we've got the frame. And in panel two, we also have a layer of 5 8 inch gypsum board. And over on the far right here, you can see that the STC of this wall is expected to be 33, as well as how it will perform at various uh, one-third octave band frequencies. Uh, th this, this wall has been tested extensively in the past, so you will know with a high degree of certainty exactly how well this wall will perform. However, if you want to do something a little bit um, more interesting, let's say add two layers of drywall on this side, as you can see, each additional layer of drywall adds a very small amount of delta STC in this case, and you're still only up to 37 with this assembly. If on the other hand, you want to go back to a common assembly, you could go to frame selection, and instead of timber stud, you could use staggered stud, timber stud with resilient channel, or what they call resilient rail here, or a 25 gauge metal stud wall. In this case, with just one layer of drywall on each side, you're hitting an STC of 43. This software becomes very powerful when you want to determine exactly how much material and what types do you need to hit a certain building code or client requirement or, or specification. Um, for instance, you can add a soundproofing membrane layer behind the 5 8 inch drywall to get to a higher score. Our in-house material is known as wall blocker. And with one additional layer of this product, you can jump up to an STC of 49 with a four inch stud. You can hit 50. And if the studs are spaced at 24 inch on center, you can achieve an STC of 53. In order to save this test, simply file save or print as a PDF This will allow you to share this content with developers and architects to determine exactly what level of STC they're expected to achieve with various assemblies. Thanks for your time and stay tuned for more advanced tutorials.